I'm Natasha. Welcome to a trimester three workout. Now in this trimester your body is going through so many changes and you will feel different every day. So throughout this workout if something doesn't feel right just stop straight away. Just listen to your body. You're the only person that's inside and if you do want to ask me any questions please email Secret Saviors or comment after this video. So make sure you've got some water. I am going to be using some light weights in this exercise. So um, I've got some rice, cans, or if you do have dumbbells, you could use those as well. Um, I am going to also be using a chair. Make sure that it's quite sturdy. If you can push it up against a wall, that will make sure that you're extra safe as well. Um, and so just a kind of solid looking chair, or you can use the sofa as well, or a table. For this first exercise, um, we're going to be working on lunges and um, so either come with your foot against a chair or this doesn't work very nice for filming you could put your hands on the wall as well so I'm going to be using my chair but you could put both hands on the wall if you wanted to so I want you to hold on because doing lunges you can get really unstable and this does help keep your hips really square now in this trimester, your hips get really, really tight. It's that extra weight of the pump pulling you forward. And so this is a really important exercise that can help stretch out your hip flexors and try and get your glutes to do some of the work. So what I'm looking for is a 90 degree angle on your front leg and your back leg. And really thinking about squeezing your back bottom cheek on the way up. So go nice and slow. Think about breathing as you go, like if you are concentrating, it's always really easy to think, hold your breath. So make sure you're still breathing. Do as many of them as you can and get as low as you can, but just listen to your body. Good, just give me one more of these and switch over to the other leg. So it doesn't matter which leg you start with, just as long as you do both of them. So think about tucking under with your bottom dropping that knee down, chest is up, and core is nice and tight. Good, so dropping that knee down to the floor, squeezing your bottom cheek on the way up, and pulling your abs in nice and tight, and keeping your head up. So you don't have to go fast, just a kind of like one, two, so a continuous movement, nice and smooth, and thinking about that hip flexor stretch, as well as squeezing your bottom on the way up. Good, you've got two more and one more. Perfect, now this next one, I would like you to come into a plank position. So think about pulling your tummy in, back nice and strong. So just holding that plank position on the back of the chair. So you can see this could also be a kitchen countertop height or um, a dining table works really nicely. Just make sure that you are safe and it doesn't move. So some alternatives to this, so I'm bending my elbows to the side, trying to keep neck long. Alternatives are, hands could go on the wall here, or if you want it a little bit harder, come and turn your chair over because the lower you are, the harder it is. So, you work as hard as you want to, core is nice and tight, and again, nice long neck. Going down as low as you can. Good, see if you can do me two more. And one last one. Perfect. So you're probably going, when do I get to sit down on my chair? So now come and take a sit down on your chair. Sit up as tall as you can, lean back, chest up nice and high, and lift up one leg. So in this position, thinking about your core being really tight and I've got a flat back to the side. So it's harder with um, your hands off the chair, but if you feel wobbly, hold on. The whole point of this is you're pulling your belly button into your spine, trying to work your transverse abdominus. Good, now switch over to the other side. So just make sure you're sitting up nice and tall and then the further you lean back, the more it's working your core. Good, just hold that for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. So now, this is where you can grab. Rice is about a kilo. 
if you want to work a bit harder, beans or weights, whatever you've got available. Beans are about half a kilo, so they're easier. So now I want a high bicep curl. So elbows are staying parallel, and I just want your arms to fold in. So the trick on this one is I'm sitting up tall, so already working my core, and then this is a high bicep curl. So this is brilliant on your triceps because you've got that lift in your arm as well as working your biceps on the front. So it's really good to strengthen up your arm and posture muscles as well as your core when you're pregnant. Good, let's see if you can do me three more and two more. Good, and one last one. Fantastic, good, so that was your first set. Today is all about moving your body in different directions. So these are all kind of like working stretch exercises. So come into that lunge position, and I love having a chair or sofa in front of me, because lots of people go too far forward on that front knee, and it almost puts like your knee in a kind of like knee prison, because it will tell you if you're bending too far forward because it will bash against the wall or the chair. So this is perfect at helping you lean back and get that great hip flexor stretch. Good, let's see if you can give me three more. Squeezing that back bottom cheek. That's how you get that glute muscle to really wake up and do the work. Good, one last one. Perfect, switch back to the other side. So standing up nice and tall, dropping down, squeezing your bottom cheek. So really nice and slow and controlled. Really pulling that belly button in. So head is up and back is nice and straight. If you can look in a mirror, maybe take a photo or video of yourself, that will show you, like, am I actually straight? Sometimes you feel straight and you aren't. Good, so you've got three more here. Good, two more. I can feel that working. Good, add one more. Now, listen to your body. If I'm doing too many for you, then you stop when your body says that you are ready. So now, come and drop your hips forward. Nice long neck, elbows come to the side, and push back again. So your core is tight, neck is long. Really thinking about pulling that belly button into your spine. Now, if your chair feels too wobbly, don't take any risks, remember, you could be onto the wall here, or if you want to work a little bit harder, then come onto the base of that chair. So the lower you are, so if you're on a bed, or like the sofa, it's gonna be a bit harder, because you are lower. Really thinking about pulling the abs in. Good, you have got three, and two, and one. Well done, so now we're onto our abs, working that lower transverse abdominus. So sitting up nice and tall, lift up that leg, sit really tall to start with, and then lean back. So this one was all about having a nice flat back, so I'm a V shape, and you will feel this, working your quad a little bit, and then hopefully your lower abs. So really trying to pull your bumper in, that belly button towards your spine. Good, switch over. Now this might be one of those exercises that you feel a kick. The baby might start talking to you. It's actually a good thing. If it feels uncomfortable, just stop. I remember at this stage having lots of elbows and knees, <laughs> which is exciting. Good, see if you can hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant, and we are onto the high bicep curl, so nice relaxed shoulders, elbows parallel, good. So the key to this is to relax your neck, pull your tummy in, and try and keep those elbows quite still. So the only thing that's moving is your arms, it's just that elbow joint, so everything else should feel really still. And again, if this is an exercise, it's quite a small muscle group, with your arms up. So you're not gonna want heavy weight. So if you have got dumbbells, like two is gonna feel crazy heavy on this one. Two or three, which is why rice or beans 
or even like filled up bottles of water do the job just great good if one more if you can and you are still with me perfect remember grab water if you need it don't go thirsty and remember you're drinking if you remember you should be drinking a bit more water now you're in your third trimester as well so body is up third set now third set of lunges you should actually feel this working so you are dropping your knee down core is nice and tight so knees down to the floor nice long neck your hip flexor should feel a bit looser on this third set so maybe can you go a little bit lower that chest up so nice and slow and controlled don't rush enjoy the feeling of this one it's always a bit of a temptation to rush through lunges because it hurts your bottom <laughs> good two more think of it as a good working stretch pain and one well done switch over to the other side so taking that foot back head up knee goes down to the floor squeezing to come up think about breathing and yet still pulling your tummy in so back should be nice and straight and you have to focus on squeezing that back bottom cheek as you come up so just light fingertip touch remember this could be the wall or a work surface or a dining table good you've got three to go two more and one last one perfect so third set of push-ups leaning forward come down onto that chair and push up so core is nice and tight relaxing your neck coming forwards onto your chair good and so your options for this one were on a wall hands at chest height pushing into the wall and up again or your harder one if you just wanted a bit more core work come down onto the base of that chair and get as low as you can to that chair good see if you can do me three more and well done good so come and sit down <sighs> get your breath back for a second and also remember don't be out of breath so if you feel like your heart rate's getting up on those push-ups just stop should always feel like you should be able to have a conversation so leaning back on this one it's the third set can you get back a little bit further really working those tummy muscles hold that foot up you've got five four three two and one good switch over so sitting up really tall lean back the further you lean back or if you straighten your leg a centimetre you should really feel it dig in onto those ab muscles work as hard as you want to good you have got five four three two and one perfect so you have got one more exercise in this set so this was the high bicep curl so still thinking about drawing that tummy in trying to keep your hands parallel my palms are facing towards me and if I'm taking it to the side I'm sitting up as tall as I can elbows nice and tight still thinking about breathing see if you can do me four more so you've got four and three well done you've got two and one well done so grab yourself a drink of water done your first set and just take a little breather and we'll start again for the second set Hi, so welcome back to your second set. This next exercise is for hip strength and hip mobility. So as your bump gets heavy, heavier, there is a lot of pressure on your hips. So this next exercise, is a bit like a ballet exercise. So you want a fingertip touch on a chair or you could use the wall. And I just want you to lift one foot in front of you. Now already lifting that foot, this is a great core exercise. I've got my knee slightly bent and then I want you to give me a hip circle as you go round. So I am flat foot through the middle and then circling my hip. So really trying to work on 
hip rotation. So I've got a flat foot as I go through, pointed foot, and then really trying to touch as far to the corner of the circle as I can. So I'm trying to keep it smooth, but hitting front, side, and then back. If you put your hand on your hip bone, you should actually be able to feel that joint. It's a ball and socket joint. And so this is really good at working that stabilizing leg. It's great for your core and balance, and it should just help with hip mobility, which is a lot of people that get hip pain in this third trimester. Good, so see if you can do me three more. You can definitely feel that on my supporting leg. Good, you've got two more. And one last one, perfect. So come and swap over to the other side. Let me just get that way a little bit. So core nice and tight, standing up. Start with that foot in front of you. And we're going to draw those really lovely circles forward. So hand on your hip. I really like this one, that you can feel that rotation. So foot flat and then toe pointed. So it's almost like you're brushing through the middle, drawing the biggest circle with your toe that you can, and then pointing your toe forward. So my leg isn't high. In fact, this works better as a low circle. When you get to the back, really think about pulling your tummy in, because you could start feeling like you are arching your lower back. So try and stay really tall. Think I am a ballet dancer. <laughs> Good. See if you can do me two more. Good, and one more. So things keeping with that idea of rotation. If you come and grab your weight, hands start directly in front of you at chest height. Then take your arms out to the side. My knees are slightly bent. I'm thinking about tucking my hips under. So I'm engaging my bottom muscles. And then I want you to tip your hands all the way up to the ceiling as far as they'll go. Squeeze your shoulders together and then tip the other direction. So, doesn't have to go fast, but really working into those back muscles and here. So if you look at me from the back, you should really be able to see I'm working into my back muscles and then I've got a chest stretch as I go forward. Good, so trying to keep those elbows soft. So that's how you're getting that bend and just trying to rotate as much as you can. And this is a brilliant exercise for your back muscles and it works your shoulders as well. So do as many as you can. This is a small muscle group, so it burns quite quickly. But listen to your body. When you've had enough, you can stop. You don't have to keep up with me. Well done. Perfect, so now we are going to do some planks. Can't do a trimester three workout without any planks. So we're gonna use the forward bit of your chair. Think about pulling your belly button into your spine. Elbows go down, head goes forward, really relax your neck. So thinking about squeezing your bottom muscles, neck is nice and long, abs are really tight. You need to be able to keep breathing. So if this feels quite easy for you, you can make it harder by dropping one knee and then the other. So you still have to pull your core in nice and tight, squeeze your bottom cheek as you're dropping that knee down and then squeezing your bottom cheek as you come up. If you're trying to relax your neck, still find that nice space between your shoulders. And one more, well done. Now, our last exercise of this set is a tricep. So sitting up nice and tall. I want you to take your arms backwards on the chair and come forwards. So my elbows are nice and tight. I'm lifting those arms up to the back and coming forward. So if you're looking at me from the side, my elbow is staying still and I'm extending that leg backwards, uh, that arm backwards. Good, so, so elbows are here. See if you can do me four more straight backwards, and then I'm going to make it even harder. And this is quite a hard one, because I know you're looking at me. Try and keep your head in line with your spine. I now want you to twist your hand. So, looking at me from the side, I want you that elbow to stay up, 
and twist your arm. Now this gets right into like the bit of your tricep that tends to like wave underneath your arm. Good, so that's the tricep twist and you've got four and three. So this is harder, if it feels too much, you don't have to do the twist and one. Great job, perfect. So we are back to that hip rotation. So standing up nice and tall, this is brilliant on core and balance. Fingertip touch and just come and circle that leg. So you're brushing through the middle flat foot that hand is actually on your hip joint. So you can feel that rotation. Take it as far to the back as you can. Core is nice and tight. Good, see so if you can do me four more this side. So you've got four, and your hips should feel looser after this workout. Get lots of cricks, because we don't use this circle range of motion much in your hips. Good, one last one. Perfect, switch over to the other side. And give me that nice circle. So brushing your foot, your core work is coming by fingertip touch. Now, if you've got brilliant balance, I don't think I have today, you can do this not holding on. So flat foot pushing forward, nice circle, and see if you can do me four and three, taking that foot all the way to the back, which is where you really have to pull your tummy in. You have got two, and one. Fantastic, great job. And so our next one was also the rotation. So hands come to the side, take your arms back as far as you can. Knees are slightly bent, core is nice and tight. So that chest is up, Try and relax your neck. Good, so twisting. Really trying to get that range of motion. If you don't feel this working, if you try and take your hand back a little bit, you'll really feel it in those posture muscles and your lats and the posterior deltoid at the back. Good, just a couple of centimetres backwards, you should really feel it dig in. This is a brilliant back and posture exercise. Good, see if you can do me three, and two, and one, perfect. Good, come and take it into plank. So elbows are down, to so your options. You can just hold this plank, pulling your tummy in, making sure that you are breathing, or the harder option was with a knee drop. You have to squeeze your bottom muscle a bit, and then make sure you are resetting into that plank every single time. So neck is long, core is nice and tight, head is in line with your spine. See if you can do me four and three. You have got two and one. Perfect. And we are on to those triceps. Now if you sit down for the triceps, and I'm going to pretend I'm sitting down because I think you'll be able to see me a bit better. Perfect. So I'm going to sit to the side and obviously, if you did want to do this standing up and not on a chair, you can. It works your core a little bit better. So my head is in line with my spine. I'm pulling my tummy in. Knees are bent. You can be sitting down on a chair. See if you can do me three more. Good, two more. And this last one, I now want 10 with a twist. So this is the one I'm turning in so I'm really working that inside tricep muscle, still pulling my tummy in, and if you are sitting down on your chair, this is what it looks like. Good. Two. And one. Perfect, well done guys. If you are still with me, we are on our third set. So standing up nice and tall, here is your posture. Come and circle your hips, so flat foot, taking nice big circles. So just a smooth movement. Try and draw that circle with your toe and making it smooth. If your hips are quite tight, this could be quite challenging. Just working that range of motion out through all of the, the like corners. It's like you're drawing a letter D shape, isn't it? 
Go, so trying to go all the way forward, all the way side, and all the way at the back. So it's brilliant on your supporting leg as well. I can really feel it in my bottom. My knees slightly bent this side, just so I can pull my tummy in. Good, you've got two, and one, perfect. Other side, so standing up nice and tall. Good, and come round. Now, if you have enjoyed these workouts, I would love to see a photo of you doing them. If you have managed to get any of your family involved, I'd love to see a picture. If you've got any children, dogs, partners that have done these exercises with you, then please let me know. Good, so this was nice big circles. Knees are soft and chest is up. Good, and you have got four and three. You've got two and one. Perfect. So come into that shoulder rotation. Chest is up. Nice relaxed neck. So knees are slightly bent. So I can think about tucking under and standing really tall. So my hips are tucked under and trying to get those arms as far back as you can. So you have got a chest stretch and then a turn in. So standing up as tall as you can. Core is nice and tight. So this third round, do as many as you can. I've got the one kilo rice, and this is about as heavy as I can go. It's actually pretty heavy, but, I act, but it feels good. This day. It's like a working posture, stretch and strengthen. It's a great pregnancy exercise. Because as your body changes, so much weight is pulling you forward, you need this back work to keep you upright and pain free in your neck and shoulders. Good, can you do two more? And one more, brilliant, you have made it to the plank. There's only two more exercises to go. If you are still with me, you are doing really well. So relax those shoulders, drop your hips, core is nice and tight, head is in line with your spine. Now drop one knee, think about your breath. You still want to be able to breathe. If you feel like you're holding your breath, then just count as we do this. Now remember, if it feels too much with that knee drop, then just hold a plank. Think about that space between your shoulders, core is nice and tight, head is in line with your spine. Just give me a couple of more deep breaths here. Well done. So I gave you two options on this last exercise. You can stand up and do triceps here. I felt that my chair was a little bit wide actually, so it depends what you're on. So I feel like I'm hitting my chair a little bit. So my chair is not perfect for this exercise. <laughs> but do you sit down if your chair is working for you. I want you to squeeze those elbows together. Neck is in line, bending those elbows. Core is nice and tight. See if you can do me five more. And four. So there is a slight hold at the back. You have got three, and two, and one. Good, and so that last 10, can you give me that twist? If this feels too much for you, then you can stop, listen to your body. If you feel any strain in your neck, stop straight away. Good, two and one. So well done. You have completed today's workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you feel a bit taller and a bit kind of stretched and worked. But let me know and hopefully I will see you again very soon.